I'm Emily Dunn and we're here at the AIS doing some research about how fatigue affects amateur boxers. So in this study we're taking um, the punch force that uh, boxers can produce and examining the ground reaction forces that they use to produce that, that force and basically trying to establish the relationship between the two. Um, a further study to that will be to examine how that relationship changes when boxers are fatigued. Basically the, the boxers will do a three minute punch test and this test was developed using uh, the, the work, work rates that um, we see in amateur boxing. Yeah, so some of these guys are punching really, really hard. They're, they're some very powerful athletes, so we've seen up to uh, 4,000 newtons just in a single punch, which um, is about 400 kilos, just for a reference. Um, and that would just be like 400 kilos hitting you yeah, like in one. So it's re fairly representative of what you'd see in the ring. Um, and what we're doing is getting them to punch as hard and as fast as they can for three minutes. And yes, and we use that before and after sparring so that we can, we can see whether or not things have changed um, with an intervention in the middle. So here at the AIS Combat Centre this week, we've got the best uh, young Australian boxers. They're the 2018 Commonwealth Games and 2020 Olympic prospects. And we're also invited in the Filipino national team to come over from the uh, Philippines to train hard with our guys. I'm really excited about this study. We don't really know much about the, the way that that boxers can produce the amount of force that, that they can. And this is, this is a, a good starting point for that. So first off, finding how they do it and how it's effective. So when, when we know that, then we can put in place some interventions to potentially um, minimize the effect of fatigue. And we've got a good, good test now to, to be able to tell if we're doing that effectively.